CIS, I don't think that there's anything that compares to it. It's fantastic. I mean, rivalries are what makes sports amazing. The story is almost becoming legendary now with Johnny. I mean, a basic walk-on to our program when I first took over as the job. You know, we gave him a, a uniform, we gave him a spot on the team, and really no guarantees other than that. There's no other reason for Johnny's success other than he, he just works harder than anybody I've ever seen. To go from that kid that was barely making our team to, you know, one of the top players in Canada is, you know, an incredible, it's an incredible story. came out of a timeout, we, had, we had talked about the play we wanted to run. I just said to Johnny, you know, get to your left hand and get to your step back. Um, it's a shot I've seen him make, you know, a thousand times, ten thousand times in practices and on the guys. And when it comes to him making a shot at the end, it's, it's not so much about my confidence in him to make it. It's that we have confidence in him make or miss. He's the guy we want shooting the ball and he's earned it. And I mean, but when you see it go in, I mean, obviously a really special moment for a great kid. And, you know, he, if we get in that same opportunity again, he'll, he'll be, the ball will be in his hands. It's the game that everybody waits for. Even our players can't wait to play in them. And we, we actually had this discussion as coaches last week. We were talking about, can you cheer for both teams? Just be proud of the fact that there's two great teams in Ottawa. And the consensus was, you can't. Like, you, you have to choose a side in our city. And if that's the case to me, that's the true sign of a rivalry. <laughs> play against the Wilson Cup was exactly how we had drawn it up. The one at, uh, at our place a month ago was uh, basically a, a cluster of mistakes and uh, it just ended up in Johnny's hands. Um, he ended up with a sort of a half travel, half step through, half uh, floater. Again, just a, an incredible shot and an incredible moment for our program. You know, when you have a, a dynasty like Carlton uh, in the country and in your division, you're constantly number two, and you're not only number two in the country, you're number two in your own city. Um, so for the guys to see them rank number one, it's, uh, it's pretty special for them. The truth is, I think they're still the team to beat. Um, they're the four-time defending champions in a row. Until someone knocks them out, they are still the team to beat, and uh, they've earned that right. And that's the approach we take every time we play them. I think that our best basketball is still coming. We're, we're understanding how hard we have to play. We understand big game situations, we've won some tight games, um, but I still think that we can improve. I mean, you know, we were third in the country last two years ago, we were second in last year. Um, you know, our goal is to win it. And I mean, every team's goal is to win it. Um, but, you know, that's the focus for these guys. And that's just an example of how special these guys are. They understand that we have to get better to win it. And we're not really, thinking about anything else except for the fact that we can't just cruise and, and think it's gonna, no one's gonna give us anything. We're just gonna keep trying to get better and then hopefully if we do that I think, uh, I think we've got a really good chance.